What is going on, guys? Welcome to the Wednesday afternoon stream. And those that are watching it live, hello. And those that are watching it back, hello to you as well. Um, about 50 of you or so. But do manage to watch a little bit back um, all the first two minutes and then go away. Um, yeah, so on this stream, as you can see by the title, Tired to Buy. Basically, is it tired to buy the European card? So I discussed this on a few of my streams previously. Um, when is the best time to buy? European cards in general, um, from history, you know, middle to the end of um, April is usually a good time. Obviously, at the moment, we're not quite sure because of the new formats um, in terms of the new sort of game on Surrey, if you want to call it that. Got the Euros, of course, Cup America this summer. So there's a few different factors and scenarios. But yeah, I think now might be a good time to start buying um, at the same time. So hello, everyone joining. Ian, first one in the chat. Hope you're doing well, buddy. And again, thank you so much. Big, massive shout out to Ian as well um, for letting me know that Liam Scales was out last weekend. Um, if I just pull up my team, you're a lifesaver. Um, I will actually, yeah, you know, I should actually give you something for that, actually. Um, he was actually in the squad, Ian, for um, so the Tionandes. Neil, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Just bought Hoyland for 120 pound rare. We'll check that out in a moment. Um, Neil, who's brought the cheapest Chucho and Andes in history on Surair, um for a rare card, by the way. Um, but yeah, Tina Andes back in this team. It was Liam Scales until about 50 minutes before the deadline. I got a message from Ian, um, who did say that Liam Scales is out of the Celtic game. I missed it myself. I was, you know, at work. And yeah, just a big shout out there. Massive, you know, to be fair, that that wouldn't have done anything. So, um, I'll have to repay you um, with a Surair card, of course. Um, yeah, cheers for that, Ian. Much appreciated. Um, it really is. Um, Andrew, welcome in. I had two boxes and Paul Ramsdale. Wow, that's a massive one. Um, I do believe Ramsdale will move this summer. That's just my my assumption, my guess. Basically, I do think Ramsdale will leave Arsenal and get some first team football. Where I don't know. My guess, who did, who did I say, was it West Ham, did I say before? I forgot Oriola and Fabianski, who's getting old now. West Ham, the Bournemouth got Neto. I like I've had, I've had this discussion, discussion a million times, but I do think Ramsdale will leave. I actually do own two Ramsdales myself. But yeah, massive shout there to Andrew, pulled a Ramsdale from two boxes. Um, those that haven't seen my video from yesterday, I did open some boxes. I need to write it down. Um, all the boxes I've opened and what, what, what kind of one from them. So yesterday I won an Adam Smith. This is a tier five card, by the way. If there are any Bournemouth fans in the chat, I mean, there's not many Bournemouth fans there's around. Um, if you are here, there won't be. But if you are, um, what is Adam Smith's situation at the moment in time? Plays right back for Bournemouth. He has been starting the last few games. You have got Max Ahrens as well, I think, Bournemouth. Um, yeah, I'm not going to check, but I think they do have for a TFL, that's not too bad um, but yeah, I was listening to the Surrey Ramble um, podcast but today, and then I watched Super Rares as well and how disengaged they are with Super Rares, especially Haber as well and I'm pretty much in the same sort of boat with my Super Rares not quite sure to do them just yet the big one for me um, is as we get a new subscription on there um, Ian, thank you so much for the resub uh, for one another one month at tier one. Subscribe for eight months. Christ, I didn't even know I've been streaming for that long. Um, number one fan, Ian, thank you so much as always, buddy, for the support. It's much appreciated. Um, I will try and build some lamps as well, um, maybe late this evening. Um, it's my brother's birthday tomorrow, so I won't have much time to do much tomorrow. But you know, from about the middle of May and obviously into next season, I will try and stream. Um, on a Thursday as well to, to build your lamps at the same time. Andy D eight or eighty eight. Thank you so much for the follow over on over on Twitch. Much appreciated, Andrew. Big points off him next season. Yeah, let's see if Ramsdale can do the business um, next season. So yeah, Adam Smith was the tier five super rare. Tier four, Matteo Gabbia, who I think obviously just play a little bit for AC Milan. Um. But with Tomori back now, I'm not sure if he does start. Again, any information is much appreciated. And then for the Tier 2 yesterday, we picked up an ML Forsberg. 
one that I'll be keeping for over the summer, definitely. I haven't looked into his fixtures. I haven't actually seen him play too much this season, to be honest. And to be fair, I haven't, I haven't been engaged in much as much as a fall to start the season. I'm not sure why that is. I think because European season is still ongoing. I think once that does finish, we're a lot more engaged in that. Um, but yeah, Forsberg, a great um, play to pick up there. One thing that I actually didn't look at was other rewards in my around me basically. So I finished 23rd, got Forsberg, £123. Mainly below me. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not going to complain. And so Neil did say he brought in Hoyland for £120 earlier. That seemed a pretty, pretty um, fair price. Now he did go out and buy um, Chuck Cho yesterday. Um, if you are still in the chat, Neil, by the way, look at this, guys. I think it's the lowest ever. I, mean, I don't think you guys can see because my head's in the way, but it's the lowest ever card, which I mean, if the platform probably isn't too good. £265. Well, that was 269 um, you know, well, that's a good thing, bad, bad thing for the platform, but it's a great thing for um for Neil, who's put the cheapies. So hopefully, the only way is up. Um, your brother, the Stoke Messi. I mean, yeah, he's been he's been called worse. So um, yeah, his birthday tomorrow. Yeah, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Gabby is better, and you are, and Kajer. And the bots for sleep. <laughs> And um, just hope he's not injured yet. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Bro, boy, how you doing, buddy? Be doing well. When do you think there's a good time to sell players just before or during the game week? Um, usually, it depends when they're going to play. Um, Quinny, how you doing, buddy? Be doing well here for the drive home. And um, what's happening? Yeah, just discussing the best time to buy cards, Quinny. I'm just doing a bit of scouting on this stream, to be honest. Um, on this one, so nothing too exciting, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, best time to sell players is usually the Thursday night before the Friday deadline, for example, or if you've got a midweek game um, and plays and people will manage to start to panic on the Monday and um, before the Tuesday, right before the deadline um, as well. Um, I was listening to Quenny's stream um, or the podcast um, it was last week or the week before and about Super Rares as well. And, you know, might be a good time to pick some super airs up. That's one thing I might be doing later on the stream as well, potentially, if you've got a bit of time as well. Um, just don't understand how the one before went £390. It happens sometimes. It does happen. Yeah, but as Cameron says there, it is an absolutely insane price to pick him up at, up, pick him up at basically. It's um lowest ever rare car pickup. So... Great for you, um, Neil. As a platform as a whole, probably not so great, but it's just one of those things. So yeah, kind of today's discussion is, you know, best time to pick up, you know, is it time to buy basically in terms of European cards? I do have a few um, things in mind and scouted in mind. So I've actually put a bit of a few offers out yesterday and I feel like my old, the old Jack, um, would be quite lazy now and not get stuck into the market. I think it's quite quiet at the moment in time um, in terms of, you know, buying cards, especially for European cards mainly. I think now's a great time to go out there and try and pick some cards up and move this slightly across. You can see what I've been doing. So those that have watched the previous streams will know I've got a bit of a shortness for next season. I think the panic will start to set in for managers for under 23, so those that don't know, from August onwards, we've got multi entry for under 23, we've got multi entry for La Liga, and also for Bundesliga as well. And people like myself that aren't really set up just yet, even for the current format, you know, the multi entry, you know, even the week just gone, the weekend just gone, sorry. A galley like me, you know, what's, what's my galley worth nowadays? Um, you know, 15 Ethereum, you'd think I'll have at least one, let's be heavily European bases, but you think I'll have one at least challenge, um, sorry, classic Premier League team. So to me, I just, I just need to um, buy more players um, in, in reality, to be honest. 
And obviously, when August comes around, we'll have two more entries for under 23, which I definitely don't have plays at the moment. Obviously, we've got La Liga and Bundesliga at the same time as well. Obviously, we've got the champion that's, that still remains. So, we've got three teams in here. And they are pretty decent teams, as you can see. Obviously, one game relegated, but it's a Bayern Munich team that was very difficult to predict. On the weekend, but yeah, I do feel like I need strengthen. Definitely get another Premier League team. I want the players like, you know, Ivan Tony, Watkins. Obviously, Palmer's gone straight into watch this after. It's been on me, you know, on my radar for quite a while now, but, you know, after the... The other night, he's 90. I'll, I'll probably the worst time to buy him, in fact. But he's on the watch list. Gordon as well. Amazing at home. Nuba Wise injured for a good time. Obviously, the thumbnail, those that watch on, on YouTube, is um, Courtois from Real Madrid, the goalkeeper. Probably missed out a little back to when his um, lowest point was. Again, another player that I want to pick up. I was actually trying to buy around this sort of time. I think he went for as low as under 0.1 if he at one stage. Yeah, well, 0.1 basically. Um, and yeah, a few other players. Odegaard that I want as well. Um, Foden, of course. Davies, obviously linked to a Real Madrid this summer. And a few others as well that are in the watch list. And the plan this stream is to add maybe more players to this watch list. God, here as well. Um, I do plan to play um, Classic. I don't plan to play too much in season next season. Um, and that might change, so don't kind of quote me on that one. And also as well, if I do start winning in-season cards like I've done this season, like a Saka, for example, I want a Saka, I want an Alvarez, I want a Jair, for example, um, I will start playing in-season throughout the season. So, yeah, my main focus is to have three teams, Premier League Classic, three teams Liga, Champ and Bundesliga next season and go really heavy in the champion regions and of course one of my favourite regions as well, under 23 for multi-entry as well um, Unknown says Jack can I maybe get a free limited card from you definitely 60 cents um, yeah possibly and I plan on doing a bit of a quiz next week as well so Unknown if, you, if you're around next week I plan to do a bit of a quiz um, where I'll probably give away a couple of cards. Um, yeah, I do do a few a few giveaways. Um, and there you go. I've answered that question. I didn't actually see that question before. Um, but there you go. I've just answered that. So mainly classic next season for me. Again, that might change. That might change. Honestly, when more cards to win, the better. Um, Raul. Um. How you doing, buddy? Check my account if you want any players. Let me know. Um, yeah, I did see your Twitter post. Um, having yesterday or not on the weekend, I can't remember now. You were selling a lot of your gallery. Any reason why that is? Um, mod, 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 mod dance. Nice. Sorry. Um, my phone's gone absolutely mentally. The ring doorbell. So, oh. um. Yeah, is he is he still injured, Motta? Is he still injured at the moment for Wolves? Was he back? Um, Brokey boy, Newell going back on loan. Yeah, I think the next is it two seasons. He's back there. I'm sure. I think I'm pretty sure it's two seasons. I don't even actually tell on here. I'm sure Newell is staying there for two more years. I'll be wrong. Twenty. Right. Yeah, so a bit of a defensive stat for Stuttgart as well. Um, Mittel Selt, I'm going to say his name, left the left back in the German national team is one I've got my eyes on for um, sure. Do you think he gets his number, gets his number one back though? Uh, I think so. I think um, Lunin's done very well, but I've watched him the last couple of games and I've Again, I'm a massive fan of Lunan. I used to own a Lunan card, a rare, limited, and I was a massive fan. And he's been terrific for Amateur this season. But I've watched the last couple of games from Madrid, and he looks a bit shaky. Um, but I've only seen a couple latest games. So, yeah, I think Courtois will come back and be number one. But I'm no, I'm no expert. Um, Gordon and he's out for home games. 100%. Gordon at home is absolutely scary, isn't he? Um, look at his home games compared to his away. So, if we just filter this out by... 
Premier League game. So this is Gordon away from home. And then this is Gordon at home. That is absolutely... That, yeah. And what's the words there? Look at that. It's 68.8 for home and away is only 44. Yeah, definitely your home player for sure. Um, are your under 23s that you have safe for another season or two? Honestly, Neil, I haven't properly checked, to be completely honest. I've got a few players. I probably should have a, you know, a good check, especially goalkeepers as well. Um, but this is why these streams are for, and obviously do a bit of scouting, see where I need to improve. Um, Stokey, Scott, that might change, he says. I'm, t I'm, ho I'm hoping not to um, buy in season cards, but if the price is right, um, yeah, but we'll be picking those up. Come back. Now, nah, come back with a bang. Okay. Did he play for... Um, I just want to see Sarabia scores well, because I was actually looking at terms of super well Sarabia. Yeah, decent A scores as well. Yeah, so I do a bit of scouting because obviously Premier League fours are hard to come by, especially in terms of their AA scores as well. Um, but he might want to add on to the list. When is a good time to buy words? Um, I always say, well, I mean, I've been saying for the last few, last last couple of months now, the best time to buy European card usually is middle, end of April, like we are now. But it's a new year of Sorare, so no one really knows. But best thing you can do is, you know, on Sorare data, you don't have, you don't know us already, is this little notification bell here. And you can just set alerts. And I don't think I had alerts. You get alerts like this. You guys can see that. So that's like an alert to say a player has been listy for a certain price. So you can definitely get them on throughout the year. Um, hundred percent, and also put a cheeky you no know, in auctions. So yeah, in in auctions as well. You know, just put a few cheeky bids on there. Like we saw just a moment ago with the Chuck Cho and you know, you can get an amazing deal. Just be wary though. If you, if you are buying from auction at the moment, the new in season cards, you will lose your five percent in season bonus. Literally. Well, in the, in the new season. So just be wary of that as well. My preference, unless you're not going for collections, is to buy the old season cards, if that makes sense. So go out there, like Matt Romero here, for example. Get a decent XP. If it's not part of a collection, that's just my opinion. Um, but again, if you have got collections or you're getting a couple of players, you can you know get the 1% or 2% XP for sure. So that might be a good time to go out there and buy auctions or new in season cards. Or if you get a good deal, basically, at the same time. Um, he went on loan for two years. However, there is a clause that can break the loan just after one season. Do you think Nubal will replace Neuer at Bayern? Do you think he's good enough to replace Neuer? Um, Andy says, you think we'll get more championship teams next season? Honest answer is Andy. I, I don't know. I, 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 I can't. I'm going to say no, if that's a, you know, say. I'll see. I support Stoke. Would I want Stoke on so rare? I mean, one part of me says yes, but another part of me, me while it's saying no, just no, I'll go out there and, and just bunk load of money on plays that I just don't want or need, basically. And Stoke are not very good at the moment in time. So it's enough when Stoke just lose on the weekend and obviously they got a line up. I do have a few limited Stoke players from other cards, but. From other teams, for example, like um, McNally, Hoover, Larice, and you know, a few others as well. But yeah, to answer your question, I don't know. But if you had a gun to my head now, I'd probably say no, no more teams. But could be wrong. And um, once you see by, once you see Sam by new in season card, you're able to stop yourself. Let's see. I don't think Sam's actually in the chat today. But has Sam? No, I don't think I've been buying any more plays last time I saw three days ago. No. Um, think about, I think I've seen these. 
I think I saw his gallery the other day. Um, but yeah, once once we once we start seeing that, who knows? And um, when he did his ACL, says Quinny, I think that, that's going back to the um, the words quote when the best time to buy him. <laughs> did you see the new Serie A? Um, for fans event for the fans event, I didn't, Cameron. I didn't. If you've got a link, feel free to send it over on Twitter or just tag me in. That'd be great. Much appreciated. Um, I brought all my limited teams for next season. Classic Bundesliga, La Liga, Prem, Champ teams, 12 in total. Perfect. Perfect, Joel. That's what I'm planning to do the next... One thing, what I don't want to do is panic buy when it comes to August. And um, I've just seen Sam in the chat, by the way. And um, one thing, what I don't want to do, like I've done, what I'm doing right now, is panic buy in August and hopefully I'll have an influx of new managers. If Sri, I do marketing really well after the Euros, for example, people then start realizing they've got multi entries on the 23. Goalkeeper prices go up on the 23. We've got Bundesliga, Liga cards. And I don't want my camera keeps doing that. Give me, just give me a sec, guys. Let me see if I can swap my camera out. Like it's buttering like that. Um. Where was I now? I lost train of thought. But yeah, don't be like kind of coming to August and thinking, shit, I need buy, you know, such and such on the 23, champ players, especially the league and Bundesliga players as well. So the only difficulty at the moment is obviously transfer window. You know, will the likes of, you know, a pen to leave? You know, if, if he does leave, I can't see him getting a, a terrible move. The likes of... Alex Garcia as well. I can't see him having a tail move. Obviously, he might lose his set pieces if he does. If he does move to a quote unquote bigger team, I know Johnny have a good season, but you, you know what I mean. So that's the risk, but it's just one of those things. Try being a Birmingham City fan. I mean, Andy, that was a massive win for you on the weekend. It was against Coventry, a three 0 win. Yeah, Birmingham and Stoke at the moment, uh, literally right on the. I know I'm going to bore people here, but I want to show you how good the championship is this season. It's the best It's the best league in the world, in my opinion, championship. You've got the, you've got the promotion race, you've got the title, promotion race, top six, the playoffs is mainly gone now. I think Norwich have got that last spot, all have just missed out. And also, relegation battle as well. You've got some teams, including my team, Stoke City, Birmingham, Huddersfield, all battling for the relegation. Well, not not battling for it, but battling to stay up, if you know what I mean. So, still a lot to play for. Um, yeah, it's such an amazing league. Yeah, and there you go. There's Sam. Here he is. I spent so much money on Hearts collections. And I said I shouldn't have spent so much as I did. That's my that's my worry if Stoke come on. That is my worry if um, Stoke do come on the platform. He already was a burning. <laughs> Um, do you know what Sarah are doing for Euros? No idea. No idea. I don't speak to Sarah. They don't give me they give me anything basically. I've had no ticket from him. I'm a content creator. I'm fuming. No, but in, in total, I, I have no idea. I'm I'm guessing they're going to do something for it, but I could I could not tell you at all. And, and thank you for the follow, by the way. Um be mild seventy eight. Um it's a new announcement on the Sarah tab notification. So it is. So it is, Cameron. Look at the stream and you're in my gallery. Stalking you, Sam. Just stalking you. Um, champ prices are good right now, says Joel. Is it possible to identify DMP goalkeepers that might get a start slash transfer? I don't know how you can identify them. It's probably just you know what you know and doing a bit of research, but I don't think there's like a, a page or site where you can look at that. But my, my tip is always to buy young goalkeepers that are playing. One little tip that I would normally say is um, on Flash Scores, I think the best website for this is, if you type in, I don't know, Germany under... You can go to under 17, but let's just, just, just under 19, for example. And the most recent game, you guys can't see this now for some strange reason. 
Um, but when you, when you actually click into the game here, you guys can't see this, but there we go. You can see this now. But this guy is was, was basically starting in goal for that game for Germany. This game right here on the 19s. What you can do, as you can see, is not. I mean, again, I have no idea about this. I think I've actually got this guy. Did I buy this guy? Oh, there. Yeah, I do own this card. Um, getting, getting a bit off track here, guys. Yeah, I did actually buy this card. I think sorry because I saw that. Um, but yeah, that that's kind of one way to scout out. Maybe not not for next season, but more in the future if that makes sense. So what is this um, for events for fans event? Um, it's more collections, the VIP experiences to the games right here. Happily versus Bonnier. Stokey Scott would be all over that one. No, no he's Inter. Why didn't he skip Stokey Scott? Where is Inter? I mean, you've got that game there. Sluso versus Inter, I guess. But yeah, top collectors. The 14 CBI teams that are licensed by Sarah. They're doing something similar for Liverpool as well, aren't they, as well? A draw. I think it's pretty much the same sort of requirements. The different collections. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Coventry didn't get injured the weekend for the FA Cup semi-final. Yeah, against, against United as well. If you could draw with Plymouth at the weekend, that would be great as a Birmingham fan. <laughs> now, I'll actually go in the game on Saturday um, against Plymouth. So, it's a massive, massive game for us. And obviously, whole, the whole kind of bottom of the championship. Yeah. One of the hardest, one of the hardest, toughest leagues in the world, yeah. Best league in England by a while, by a mile, sorry. Every year goes to the wire. Because, and then obviously, a lot of these are the same, but literally anyone could beat anyone. Like, we always have a bit of a joke, Stoke fans, you know, we lose against the shit sides and we go up against, you know, top of the league and we end up winning. I've got um, England, Netherlands, and Germany stacks. Yeah, I think they, I think they will do something, Joel. I have, I have no idea. I have no idea, but I'm guessing they will do something. I think they'll do a lot more marketing this this summer, leading up to the um, the new European seasons as well. That's where I, I don't want to miss out on you know, fear of missing out and stop buying the players right now. Why it's a bit quiet. People aren't really thinking about buying cards. The season coming to an end. I think, and if you're watching this now, not financial advice, but I've got a funny feeling I'm going to look back in two, three months' time if I don't buy cars now and think, why didn't I do that? I do every time um, it happens. Bear a moment, guys. I'm not sure why the camera keeps in there. Let it fix, but. Try that, but it's flashing. I'll probably turn it off because it's doing my head. And... Um, I'm the top twelve collector for AC Milan rare, but I don't understand if it's only two tickets for AC Milan. So the cost of all collect. I think from what, what the, well, the Liverpool one was the same. So one collection to score. I think it's. I haven't played for it properly. Yes, yeah, so you must score over there. Yeah, so one winner. So I think I'm guessing there's 14 giveaways basically, but for Milan, it would be kind of just you've got a Milan collection. Your so say say there's 100 of you. I don't know, just for example, it might be a lot less, might be a lot more. Especially for that game, so it'd be quite difficult to win if if, that's, if I'm saying that right. Yeah, I, I I agree, Scott. Um, what do you think Bart at Brighton will get number one spot next season? I think he will. I think it might suit Brighton and um, for Bruggen as well if um, Zerbi does leave. I think he'll be number one for sure. And one that I, have, I do have my eye on. If Zerbi does, does stay, I'm definitely going to get um, Van Heckel. I don't know how it would be if um then
Van Heckel. Van Hecke or Van Heckel. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how it would be kind of perform, perform if he's a new manager and if he does age out as well. So we'll have to see with that one. Ah, yeah, of course, of course. I wouldn't be surprised if Strad don't know what they are doing for you at the moment. I mean, yeah, you're not the only one there, Scott. Yeah, I, d I don't know. I, f I think they will do something for it. That's just my guess. I have no insights. They don't speak to Sarah. They don't speak to me. I have no idea. But my guess is they will do something like they did for the World Cup. But who knows? 123 goals looking at Trubin or Bart. I think they're both good. I want. I think Trubin is probably better. Sorry, because Benfica just dominate that league. Obviously, we're sporting and. Now, Benfica sporting and. Oh, God, who's the other one? Who's the other team? Oh, my God. My eyes got blank. Benfica sporting and. Oh, my God. I don't want no one to tell me. I actually can't think. I'm actually going to look at the chat. My eyes gone blank, guys. Oh, my God. I'm embarrassed. It says Porto. Yeah, Porto. Yeah. Fucking hell, that was embarrassing. Um, Sarah Holland, what's up, guys? Hope you're doing well, mate. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't know why that's getting in my head. That is that is shocking. That is shocking. Thinking Silver, yeah. If if he does stay, if Silver does stay, that's what I'm thinking as well. I do own a Silver, so I'm thinking if um he does stay, that's what I'm thinking as well. Yeah, build up a Neblin stack. Yeah, let's hope that let's hope they do something for you know even just for the whole platform in general. And um, Trubin is so cheap on auctions at the moment. If you've seen his price, yeah, twenty twenty six. Um, this is what I mean, guy. I think now is a great time. So. Point one four four. I mean, I wouldn't even I wouldn't mind buying his all season cards, but I don't think he has too many. Ones from uh, wow, yeah, those old OG cards. Not a bad price. Been under twenty three gold until twenty twenty six. Twenty twenty seven for Rugen as well. I wouldn't mind winning one of them actually. Um, so yeah, so just before we delve into the scouting, um, one thing I want to touch on, I don't know if you, any of you guys play this, and this is the first time, honestly, I've looked at this website in about, maybe even a year, but I've been getting shitloads of emails, so I'm going to go and touch this on this, you know, just two or three minutes, so just bear with me that those that are here for Sarah, and by the way guys, if you are here on YouTube, make sure to smash that like button, it is much appreciated. Um, Footium. Do any of you guys play Footium? If so, what's kind of going on? Um, it's an NFT game that I've you know it's been going for about about a couple of years now that it's been in, been in the kind of pipeline. And this is the first time, honestly, guys, this is the first time I'm looking at my team on here. Apparently, you've got a squad now. I've had people wanting to buy these players in auction, um, from from OpenSea for like if like Ethereum, real money. Um. Yeah, it just looks very, very gimmicky. Um, when's my match? Do I have a match? Yeah, twenty third of the fourth. Every day, eleven o'clock. Okay. Um. Yeah. So we won't spend too much time on this Pokemon feet right now, actually. But yeah, if anyone does actually does play Footium, and has, has any idea what's going on on this platform. Please do let me know. Please, please, please let me know, guys. Yeah, it was 385 last auction. Didn't you have a Trubin once? Oh, God. Should we, should we bring, it, bring it back the memories? Could we bring back the memories? When was this again? 
2021. How much was that in, in terms of pounds? Ninety-nine pounds. That was it. Once look at that. Look at that profit. Look at that profit. Fifteen quid profit there. Anyway, um, Lionel Cameron, you won as a unique. How would you value him, and how do people sell uniques? I mean. You're asking the wrong person here, Joel. Um, I don't know if anyone else in the chat knows how to value uniques. I, I really couldn't tell you. I, I really, really, I, w I wish I could help. I don't know how you sell it. It's quite difficult to sell them. I'll probably look at his super rare price and maybe you know, double it, I guess. I, d I, couldn't, I honestly couldn't tell. The best thing to do is just get a couple of players of samples that are sort of similar value in terms of rare, limited, and, and super rare. So it's been like about you know, 10, 20 minutes looking at other players that are valued around his sort of price and limited, rare, and super rare, or limited and rare, and work out what their units have gone for. They have gone last you know, six months, or maybe hopefully last three months, for example. But yeah, units are yeah, very, very difficult to, to value. Yeah, very true, Scott. Very, very true. Hill for a £15 profit nowadays. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm just going to do a bit of scouting up now on the stream. So, if, if you have got any recommendations for European cards, let me know. Get my words out there. So, this is my short list what I'm looking at at the moment. Now, I'm quite heavily focused on AA scores. I do plan to maybe take some of these players off the short list. So I'll be going for this one first, and then adding some players on. I'll be buying plays in rare, or you know, looking at plays to buy in rare, and and basically all positions are open at the moment. Um, so this is kind of for champ only at the moment. So I'm mainly Bundesliga, Prem, and La Liga cards. I mean, I don't mind buying buying cards in Italy and France, but you know, I want to put that where possible. So. Starting off, really, it and Arsenal fans, and I think there's a couple of Arsenal fans in here. Odegaard or Rice? If you had to pick one to buy on so rare, who would it be? Now, the old Jack about three months ago would have said Declan Rice, but I'm I'm leaning a little bit more towards Odegaard. I mean, I could potentially buy both, you know, um, over over the next few weeks. Upside of Rice, he's on a lot of set pieces now, a lot of free kicks. Consistent starter. England, he's younger, 25 years old. However, I mean, he does play a bit higher up now. Jorginho's playing in that kind of CDM sort of role. He can push that number eight position, but Odegaard's a lot more advanced, a bit more peaky than Rice, I would say. He's 25 years old as well. So the first question would be Odegaard or Rice. I'll probably keep them both on the list. Um, I did put an offer in for Odegaard yesterday. So what did I do yesterday in terms of offers? Um, Odegaard. Um, again, a few of on here. Yeah, Odegaard and Rice. I think those two are pretty solid into the Premier League picks. I mean, I could put my me, me spreadsheet here, but... Yeah, so them two will stay on the list no matter what. Um, I won't go through every single player on this list. I think a few players will keep on no matter what. Newball and um, Middle Seth will definitely stay on the list. Alfonso Davis is another interesting one as well, guys. You know, will he stay at Bayern? If he does, it should be okay for him. He might potentially move to Real Madrid, which would be, you know, amazing. Obviously, they've got Mendy at the moment in time. Score-wise, at the moment, is not great. But again, could not be the best time to, to buy him. I think, to be fair, all the players I've got on this list, I don't actually want to remove anyone. Um, Pepper is probably the one you're thinking, hang on, you know, who the hell's this guy or what, what's he done on the list? But I think he's a penalty taker for Valencia, and I'm pretty sure he takes a lot of the set pieces. I think him and Guy, I want to say. No, he takes a lot of them. Now, Valencia... Are you no know, pushing for that European spot, I believe, in the top six or seven in Spain. 
Um, yeah, Pepple is another one potentially that I'm looking at. See, I don't think there's anyone actually in here that I want to take off. By the way, Yamal. I need a Yamal. I, need, I definitely do Mal. Elise as well. From Palace. Um, Daily Ram, I think I say his name. Very good A scores. Van der Voort goes laps like next season, doesn't he? Van der Voort goes... Um, yeah, is Van der Voort leaving Genk? Yeah, he's, I think he's going live sick. Um, I'm sure someone's just put that. Yeah, Scott's just put that. Yeah. Um, Rice, if also sign as six, as Rice scores be better as an eight. Also been taking the left side set pieces. Yeah. Go for the Samuel and get both. Buy <laughs> both and then worry later. I thought Davis was also confirmed to be leaving. Um, I don't know if it's fully confirmed yet, Joel. I might be wrong, but yeah, I think he'll be leaving. I think Van der Voort will start next year. I think he will. I think he will, Neil, but yeah, I'm no expert. Yeah, I think all these players, I mean, a pen to one up that don't buy just yet, and Chubby Simons. I'm probably going to hold off those two labs at lads for a little while, but the rest I really do like. We've got Bruno Gamero as well. That was a quite a surprise one to me in terms of his A scores. And then again, would he move this summer? You know, there's been, been a lot of links. Him moving to PSG. Um, and I think Man City at some stage as well. But, there's, you know, his scores, just his A scores are incredible. And, you know, these sort of plays you can fit into your Prem Classic teams. Maybe not captain material, you know. I mean, probably is in the last couple of games, last few games, actually. But one of the players can get 60s and 70s. You know, team up with, you know, a player like, you know, Rodri or other Premier League smashers. I mean, he probably actually is captain material, to be honest. But well, a Gordon at home, and that's captain material for you. But again, does he move in the summer? I mean, a PSG wouldn't be too bad. Here's one I got my eye on as well. Obviously, Gordon we mentioned a moment ago. Obviously, Cole Palmer has to be mentioned. And I've, I've, look at this well, Pranksy. Look at that. 250 quid. How out, out of, out of bit his hand off at that? A bit his hand off. Um, quite surprising here. His, his new card is lower than his, his old card. Probably not the best had to buy Palmer, just coming off the back of a four-goal game and just starting his last five or six games there. So it will be one that I'm buying, but maybe not the best time to buy at the moment in time. So yeah, I think overall this list looks pretty okay. I don't think anyone comes off this list, to be honest. So let's have a little scouting session to see who might go on the list. And starting off, off the Premier League, nice and easy, and we'll do it by position. Um, goal quiz I won't do on this stream. Um, be defending midfielders and forwards could be um any sort of age. We'll do last five on here, and those that do know me will know I love a good AA player. So AA is kind of top priority for me. Um, let's just catch up on the chat very quickly. Um, he did stay at Genk for longer too. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, hope, I hope he's not rotating. I bloody hope not. I bloody hope he's not rotating next season. That would be a um, bit of a nightmare. Which game mode is it? Yes. Which game mode is it where after enter two or three rares with the rest limited? Or is that gone? Um, cap 220, Andy, where you could enter one rare with four limiteds. At the moment, you can enter your rares in limited competitions. You can have a full rarity at the moment in time, if that makes sense, if that's what you mean. I have some of them names, yes. <laughs> Who's your next balance, Sam? What, what plays you, you, you kind of thinking of buying you know, the next few weeks or next few hours, let's put it that way. Uh, Isaac and Bruno, do you leave in the summer? So where do you think? Where do you think they both go? Where do you think those um, players go? 
Yeah. Just a couple of games. The palms on your list, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of information there on Vanderbilt. Much appreciated. Bronze Q, and thank you for the follow. Appreciated. So yeah, let's kind of jump into a bit of scouting. So Premier League defenders, get any shouts in the kind of in the, in the comments, please do let me know. I'm a sucker for AA. Let's see. Got um, let me just how the ring doorbell has just gone. I do who that is. Um, okay, so AA scores them. Man City defenders, I mean, make up the top three. I just took my AA last 15. Man City defenders make up the top two and three of the top five. I just don't fancy the, I just don't fancy the risk with, with Man City defenders. Even like Diaz, I think he can get rotated quite easily. Any game week. I mean, Liverpool game for a sub here. I mean, just play quite consistent. Uh, but like this game here, you'd be going crazy. I suppose he's probably the most reliant starter. And he is. He does get really good scores. You've got Akanji and Guardiol as well, who's been playing really well recently. But then they've got Ake. You know, anyone think about Man City defenders? Evening, Nick. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Um, Jal Pedro's a striker. I do own a um, Pedro camera. I think he is one of the best forwards in the Premier League on so rare, especially in terms of his AA scores, 100%. Can't look past Diaz. McAllister, good AA score. The issue with a McAllister for me at the moment in time, I want, I want to wait until Trent comes back and Shabbos Lai starts with a few more games just to see how he does. Louis Dunk, again, another one that I've been looking at, but again, if Deserby does leave Brighton, I don't want to touch any Brighton players. I don't know why, it's just, I've just got a funny feeling, really. But, yeah, I like, I like the shout, yeah. Man City makes it up too much. Romero, yeah, I do own a Romero defender card, so I think he, I think I brought him. I mean, yeah, look, look at this. Um, let's see, picked him up twelve days ago. His first game for me, and he goes drops a twenty-two. If, yeah, I mean that's a massive if, Nick. If Reese James is fit, he will smash, hundred percent. So. Man City, I do want to stay away as much as possible. I mean, Diaz is not a bad shout. I think Diaz could be potential, but no. Scores as well. Really decent. Maybe Diaz, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe Diaz. I'm not, not going line. Um, Van Hecke as well, again, as mentioned about Disturbage a moment ago. I think his scores are really good this season. Will that change if Brazil get a new manager? I don't know. So at the moment in time, I'm not too interested in him. He was on my list at some stage, but not at the moment. Same as Lewis Dunk as well. This one, I mean, the Premier League don't have many. Ben White's maybe another one I'm looking at before. So we'll look at Ben White. Um, Van Die Ben, I've already got Romero, so I don't want two players. In Robinson, Saliba, Pedro Porro, perhaps. Um, Anthony Robinson is he the Fulham is he the Fulham one Cameron? Open up as well. Poro Saliba. Let's 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 open more up. Eh? We might as well. To be fair, I mean Brantwaite as well. Probably another one we can look at. Yeah, I mean the further down we go here, the more we've got. We we've already got a trippy. I think trippy at the moment. I think he's undervalued. He's um. Let me return some in. Good one. Um, Rising Rashi, good afternoon. Hope you're doing well, buddy. The thing with Dunk is always capable of a goal. He goes up for corner. That, that, that's true, but it's, you can say about Maguire. 
I don't know why I've got a funny feeling. I mean, Bratton might get a new manager. You know, the Bratton philosophy is you know they want to play good football. They had obviously Potter before Deserby, so you know he, he might go and smash. He have a better season next season. But I've just got a funny feeling, and I don't want to kind of go against that. Tom, welcome in, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Good afternoon. Hope you're okay, buddy. If you get James, you need to handcuff him with gusto. I mean, I, I that that's probably the. The really sane of the night, actually. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting James. I just, yeah. Don't know why. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly really tempted with, with the Diaz, I'm not going to lie. He's actually quite surprised me how many games he actually does plunder Pep. You know, one game here, and it's just a problem is the games that you probably think City, you know, we want him to play, he doesn't play. I suppose it's just well against the big teams anyway. Yeah, he's 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 surprised me a little bit. So he's he might go on the list, you know. Um Levi Colwell. Back from injury. Plenty, isn't there? I mean what I might have to do guys is bring us down bring us down to another stream. Um so there's so many. We haven't even, we haven't even moved on. This is a first category. We tacked it in the first division. I'm gonna be all night. Yeah, he's another one. Obviously, he's got silver. Um, Paddy Shield as well. Who else have Chelsea got in defence? We've got me, got me, Luke, got me Luke on Jack, I think. Sassy. Well, they've, got, they've, got, they've got a few. And the bonus with Colwell as well. He's actually on the 23. Obviously, with the multi entry next season on the 23, he could actually fit into both laps. And how much? Oh, he's 40 quid. You know what? Oh, um, he will go on my list. Now, I'll have to kind of sort this out. So he's the first one. I'm actually, yeah, he's on the 23 as well until 2027. So even a bit of a rotation next season won't be too bad. It's not, a, not an amazing score, but that's a bonus. On the 23, any Chelsea fans, again, let me know um, your thoughts on that one. And you know what, guys? I might, I might have to add Diaz to the list. I really might have to. We'll come back to that. Um, someone did mention Robertson from Fulham. He's not bad. How much, how much is he going for at the moment? £33. The only issue here, he does need a decisive to get a really, really high score. So... He probably would need to leave for him for me to have a bit of an interest. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to say no to him at the moment in time. We've got Pedro Porro as well. Yeah, I do like Pedro Porro. He's on, he's on more set pieces now, which is obviously bad for my Madison, but I think he's another one that I'm looking at because he can get those peak scores. The problem is then, which is a problem for me, maybe not for some people, is I've got Romero, Pedro Porro, Madison, and Son. And obviously, Vicario makes a full Tottenham stack. But the problem is, I'll come up against other people with Tottenham stacks with good XP. And in my Tottenham plays at the moment, in my gallery, are all over the shop. So, Romero, Son, and Kane, all from an old season collection, which is not too bad, 2%. Madison with no collection bonus. That's the only problem if I go out and get the car. If, if I go out and get Pedro Porro, I might as well just play the Tottenham stack. And obviously ignoring, ignoring Skip there. But, I mean, I could go out and play Tottenham stack, but the problem is... Um, Joel says play four Spurs and one differential. I mean, I could do that. The only problem is... I mean, I, I, I love doing that, Joel. But I would do that more if I had the goalkeeper, one defender. Let's, let's say I had Vicario. Let's say I had, I've got Romero, Son, Madison. Then let's say I had Bruno. I mean, like Fernandez, for example, or Rodri. But to have the goalkeeper as a differential, I don't think that works for me. By the way, guys, massive shout out to you all. Um, the chat is on fire tonight. I'm... I'm actually struggling to keep up with it. Um, 
So I didn't expect this. So I do apologize. Keep going back to the chat. I do apologize if I do miss your chats off. Um, crazy. Um, Van Die Ven, again, another top defender. I, I must get the massive collectors full top team. It's very rash and rashy, but again, another shout. But yeah, Tottenham did buy that other defender, didn't he? That was linked with Bayern. I don't know his name. Dra Draki, what his name? I can't even say his name. So, a bit of rotation there. I don't know. Remember that Chelsea were changing the medical staff this summer. Pulisic and Ruben lost his job. Always injured. Now never injured. James could benefit from this. Potentially, I just think it's, I just think it's Reese James. <laughs> I think if all fit, they will start Colwell and De Sassi, says Nick. Surely bring in another centre-back. Oh my god, that's a, yeah, Sam Fafani. Oh my god. Um we'll come off. The Pedro Paul, does he make the list? Does he make the list or not? I mean he has very, very good A scores. Oh god, this is yeah, I, could, I could put him in other stacks. So we'll put him for the list of the time being. We'll put him on the list. Why not? Um who else to be mentioned then? Fafani. Oh my god. He is forgotten. That's the Fortnite, yeah. Wait, O instead. Wesley for Fortnite. Oh my god. When was the last time he played the game of football? June last year. Problem is, I just seem like he's been out for quite a while. I just don't know. And he's £30 at the moment. So I'd probably rather spend a little bit more money and go for someone like, like um, a Pedro Porro, for example. Um, saw someone in the chat mention about Reese James' his scores when, when he was actually fit. I mean, yeah, a fit Reese James. Something like that. Why keep Not too bad at that. Not too bad at all. James at the moment is about forty-two pounds. I mean, it could be his value. Fair play to him. Um, Colwell should be a start next season, hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah, Colwell is definitely in the list. So yeah. Powell is definitely in the watch list, hundred percent. I probably actually do need. I probably actually need to make new watch lists actually for different categories. Yeah, be, being on twenty three as well is a massive bonus for me. That multi entry next season just gives me a bit more scope and a bit more. Yeah, the thing is, who is paying that much for him really? Um, sorry, chat. I'm I'm mad, I'm mad on the chat here. I'm I just skip. I'm I am reading them all, but I'm just not shouting them all out. Um, I can't believe how busy it's now. Again, massive shout out to you all. And if you watch watch on YouTube, please hit that like button. It's much appreciated. Uh, Andrew Martinez. Yeah, I again I do on his super rare, but yeah, that's the one. Rashi and Neil. Oh, Joel, that oh my god, get in there. I'm glad you said that. Urian Timber on my list. I think he should be starting next season. Now, I did have a bid on his auction. Which one was it now? Was it this one? Yeah, so I did go to 0. Point... Christ, I went for quite more than I thought. I went for 0. 0. 0.019, which well, I thought was quite reasonable, actually, but maybe obviously not. 0. 0.019 I went for. Which was obviously, you know, fairly, you know, the other ones, but that's, that's an instant buy. Yeah, I was trying to buy him, actually. Yeah, I think he's one that I've got my eye on 100%, so he will definitely yeah go on to the list 100%. Yeah, nice one, Joel, for that. I think he will stop left-back next season for Arsenal. Yeah, Trent, the obvious one, I do own as well. Yeah, 100%, Nick. Yeah, Pedro Paul's probably a boom or bust player, which 
is very, very good to have. Also very shit if, obviously, he gets that bust sort of score. Um, yeah, I think he makes a list. Um, Saliba. Any thoughts on Saliba? Not a great scorer, Sarai-wise. I have to kind of get some, get rid of some here. Not be here all night. Um, in Brantford as well, or Braithwaite, how you say his name. Maybe moving from Everton next season again on the twenty-three. You know what? On the twenty-three, just gets a little bit more of a special mention. And then Ben White for Arsenal, again, another Arsenal defender. See, ben White's always kind of on the. On the fence for me in terms of Sarah. Don't know. He's Al his A is in his last year it's fifteen, which is okay. Yeah, like Luton at home here, for example, with a clean sheet, got a three or on score. So the clean sheet gets ten bonuses if you are new to Sarah. But only a free score there. A fourteen score way at Brighton, obviously the four score there. Obviously, you can argue here he's got a 44 score against Aston Villa, but I don't know about Ben White. I don't know. For that reason, you're fired. Those that watch The Apprentice will know that. Um, and then Diaz. I'm on the fence with Diaz. Rock, how you doing, buddy, if you're doing well? I see a lot of watch lists, yeah. I mean, this stream was kind of just... I thought by now we'll be, we'll be into Bundesliga, but we're still on the... Prem Defenders, I think what I'm going to have to do is do a few more streams and literally do a few watch lists because the chat is on fire tonight and I, you know, I do appreciate all putting your messages in. It's much appreciated. I just can't, can't get through it all. I can't. Um, else we've got a big game on tonight. Um, oh yeah, Man City, Real Madrid, um, Real Madrid, Arsenal versus Bayern. Which game are you watching tonight, guys? If you only could pick one, which game would you be watching tonight? I'm I'm getting both on, by the way, but which game are you watching tonight? I mean, if there is a mod in the chat, I think there is a couple of mods over on Twitch. I mean, feel free to put a poll in. I don't think I can see the polls on here. The way I got my new system working up, but put one in if you don't mind, guys. Um, Yeah, Tim for Arsenal, says Nick. Yeah, 100%. Ben White is decent, AA. I'm, I, yeah, I've said no to Ben White. I don't know why, but yeah, Palmer. Palmer will be my gallery within the next month. Click that, guys. You can click that if you want. Yeah, collection for Saka. That, that was one of the reasons why I went for the auction. Um, Sam for the timber. Yeah, that that's. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Possibly, possibly. Both, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of boths in here. But just one good buy an Arsenal. Whatever the pub's got on. Does Palmer have two more years of utility? 23. 2026. I need a Palmer. I need a Palmer. I really do. Yeah, I'm gonna watch one, but I'm gonna watch both, but just one Madrid. Yeah, to be fair, last week I had them both on, but I was watching more the Man City Madrid game. I just, I just find it, I just find it fascinating. Um, watching those two teams, to be honest. But and for the Arsenal fans in this chat, and there's a few of you, I, I, Sam as well. Come on, buying. <laughs> But to be fair, I, I always want the English teams to do well um, in the Champions League, but obviously Stoke and Arsenal. But yeah, I probably I probably say I, I don't mind Arsenal winning tonight, but then I want Man City to knock them out next round. <laughs> I just want to see a good game of football. Like last night, by the way, those games last night were incredible as well. Pick him up, then I don't feel bad when I get him. Um. You sure Paul gets around £250 by the end of the season? Potentially. Yeah, I don't think the moment in time. I mean, why couldn't um, Pranksy give me this one? <laughs> Very selfish. Other teams get knocked out, knocked up, and German teams win. 
So billion, yeah, so that that's not there's a great page on Twitter as well, which I do follow. If I come onto my following very quickly, and um, those that do like this kind of stuff, um football rankings. Those that do like um this kind of stuff, it, it kind of gives you the projection and the points that additional Champions League spots. So your Aston Villa fans out there, for example. Um, it's me, Brandon. Thank you for the follow, follow buddy. Much appreciated. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a good one on Twitter to get to get involved in if you do like this kind of stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, as you can see, Italy and Germany at the moment in time getting that extra spot. I think Italy more or less guaranteed now. I think if if um, obviously got we've got Roma and Milan playing the same game. Atlanta against Liverpool. So I think if Atlanta beat Liverpool, I'm pretty sure they, they get that spot. Yeah, for Aston Villa-wise, Aston Villa need Arsenal City to win tonight for sure. But obviously they could make top four anyway. So maybe Tottenham need Arsenal tonight. Harry Kane score the winner tonight for Bayern. I mean, I did say as well in one of my last streams, Harry Kane would score the Emirates. I did say, if someone's got a clip, feel free to put it in the chat. No, I definitely did say that, hundred percent. Um, what do you think of Simon Andringre and Seth Van de Berg coming back from Mainz to Liverpool? Um, I don't, I couldn't tell you, Brandon. I couldn't tell, you, unfortunately. Um, any Liverpool fan, Brokey boy? Um, any ideas on that one, buddy? Um, talking of Brokey Boy, actually, Real Madrid Lab is out. That's quite early, isn't it? Two hours before. Is that me or is that very early? I know Champions League is normally early anyway. I think it's number R past, not R past six, seven o'clock. I think it's the same team as last week, but too many have been suspended. So Nacho comes in. Valverde, Camavinga, Cruz, Rodrigo. Yeah, I think that's the same team as last week, but Nacho in for the suspended Chimene. Um Is Man City's team out yet? Yeah. <sighs> Here she just... <laughs> no, on, honestly, I... Um... Deep down, I want the English clubs to go through. I know, I know, people thought weird, but I do want Arsenal and City win tonight. But and if it, if it was in the semi final, Arsenal and City, I'd, I'd want City to win. Sorry, but yeah, I I don't mind Arsenal winning tonight. I want to see a good game. I, I do think Bayern will win. That's just my prediction. I think Bayern will win tonight. I think City and Bayern will, will both win tonight. But that's just my um, prediction. Yeah. Could screw Spurs over in that fifth position. Yeah, Sam said the same as well. Bridget always do trials before. Yeah, so and uh, yeah, I, I'm aware of that. So it's an hour before. I think Champions League is normally a bit earlier as well. I think it's normally about an hour and a half before kickoff. I'm pretty sure Man City's will come out in the next half an hour or next forty five minutes. I'm pretty sure Champions League is a little bit earlier than the um, usual Premier League and league matches. I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, so yeah, going back to the scouting guys, again, I do keep getting sidetracked. And again, it's, it's your fault. Your fault in the chat. No, um, Diaz, yes or no? Do we put Diaz in the watch list? He surprised me about how many games um, he's played. Yeah, so Neil says yes. Nick says no. Oh, God. Yeah, he does stop most. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to put, him in, put him in for now. And what I might do on, on the weekend is... I mean, he can get really good scores as well. I mean, for a Man City defender, you should expect that. I mean... Hmm, I'm not quite sure.
Yeah, we'll keep him in for the time being. Right. I think on this stream, guys, we'll just we'll just kind of go for the Premier League, and then maybe on the next one, we'll do a proper scouting session. And what I want to do as well on some videos is delve into some like hidden gems, like we call different price points. So the best players under hundred pound, under two hundred pound, under twenty pound, for example. That's what that's what that's what the plans is over the summer. So um, I do plan to do more streams well on Foot Manager as well. So um, on on Twitch. You do like you know, playing or watching people play football manager. Plans to do maybe a bit of that stuff as well. Um, so yeah, midfielders then, guys. What are your shouts for Premier League midfielders? Um, I'll give you a kind of indication of what I've got in my guy at the moment. So midfielders, Premier League, rare. I will just do super rare as well. Rodri, Saka. Um, Gomez is more for transfer, not skip. Madison, Eze, Bruno, and Shobislai. I've got one, two, obviously, Sax under 23. Madison, so I've got, I've got quite a few, but as you saw from last weekend, that's rivals. I don't, I don't play rivals. Um, as you saw from last weekend, I need more. Um, yeah, Palmer, yeah, so Palmer's already on the watch list, so he is definitely already there. Um, we've got Groves as well. We we'll mentioned McCall. We've got Foden on the watch list as well. So yeah, Foden, Odegaard we mentioned before. Bruno Gomez is on the watch list already. Is there any other standouts that I'm missing out? We've got we've got Sackett. Palms on the list. Um, Rice potentially on the list. Gomez on the list. Odegaard on the list already. De Bruyne's not on the list. Phone is on the list already, so he can kind of come off. He's definitely been scouted. Again, same as mentioned before with the Brighton manager. Zerbi. Will, will Gross score be affected? I don't know, hence why I'm probably going to take him off the list for the moment. Is there anyone else I'm kind of missing out, guys, in terms of Premier League midfielders? That maybe are injured as well. Um, Louise, Douglas Louise from Aston Villa takes penalties. Not a bad shout. Enzo from Elise is on the list. He's normally on that. I forgot about just a moment ago. Eze, I've got a super rare. I don't think there's many more, really. There's not really many, many Premier League midfielders that are really smashers. Yeah, McAllister Palmer, the City Weevil. Yeah, so McAllister's mentioned about half an hour ago or so. I want to see how he does in the next few games when Trent is back and obviously. Um, will he have the same impact? Was he taking corners? He's taken a few. Robinson was taking a few. One player we didn't mention the defenders is actually Andy Robinson, actually. And he's okay, but again, I can't get past that 80, so probably not. Yeah, at the moment, we're going to hold McAllister off at the moment. I mean, I do appreciate, I mean, these scores here are absolutely incredible. Don't get me wrong. And I'm probably a bit, a bit of an idiot here. But, um... And these sort of scores that he's capable of as well. So, McAllister doesn't make the list, fortunately. I mean, yeah, FIFA royalty, Douglas Louise at home. So, what you could have is when Aston Villa and Newcastle play at home, you could have Douglas Louise and Gordon locked in when they're both at home. Just, you just need Villa and Newcastle to play in the same weekend, they're both at home, and you're laughing. Um. Yeah, it's City as well, rotation risk. De Bruyne, yes or no to De Bruyne? I mean, obviously, it's a yes, but in terms of, like, injury, do you think De Bruyne leaves Man City this summer, or do you reckon he stays? He is 32 years old. Is he worth a long-term two-year investment at just under £300? Do you think... I think the money's better spent on Palmer in that scenario. Finkley's in 2025 to MLS. 
That's not a bad, not a bad scenario. But again, I think De Bruyne just misses out on this one. I think. Yeah, and two mid midfielders. Obviously, Rodri's the main one. Not main. Odegaard is definitely one I want as well. Odegaard will be in the gallery in the next month, hopefully. Yeah, I think Odegaard will be in there. Um, and then, yeah, onto the forward in the Premier League. Now, this is quite difficult. I think forwards in general on Surair, especially in terms of you know, all-round scores, are very difficult anyway. So, who have I got in my current gallery at the moment? So, forward Premier League, you've got Gonacho, Jal Pedro, um, Alvarez, Son, Bowen, Super Rare, and Adoku. And then in my watch list for Premier League forwards, we've got, got Gordon, of course. Um, Jonas, thank you for the follow. And Snickerbar, zero. Um, Snickerbar, thank you for the follow. Um, we've got Gordon in the watch list as a Premier League forward. And I think that's it. So, so Gordon, plus the ones we've got in the gallery at the moment. So we don't own a William, but... 35 years old. Son's up there. And McNeil's up there. And this is where the forwards now are really... Yeah, a lot of people are saying um, Isaac from Newcastle. So, where actually is he? There. So, no, where is he? We'll, we'll find him in a moment in time. But I'm doing this by A at the moment. Now, obviously, forwards aren't great A-wise anyway. So, don't mind the forward being, you know, too light on scoring goals. But... Being quite worrying actually when he's actually not shut up in the there we go. Twenty eight. So six point four, not too bad. But as he could move as well, which could benefit him a bit more. Ivan Tony's another one. Trossard, Jesus, those sort of plays don't really interest me. Watkins, perhaps. Martin I again. Not. Definitely not Anthony. Nunes misses too many big chances. I don't really like buying number nine, to be honest. I don't know about you guys, but I'd be fair, like a wing, like a Gordon, a Gonacho, a Bowen, um, a Doku, a Pedro plays a bit more deeper, a Son. I mean, Salah is obviously an obvious one. And he is, for the, in terms of value, is very good. But I've got a funny feeling Salah will leave this summer. I really do. Again, any Liverpool fans in the chat, what do you think about the Salah situation? Yeah, a lot of people saying Isaac. Oli Watkins. Yeah, Watkins, no A scores. Yeah, Chunny as well. Back to him. Is he on this list? He's off to Saudi, yeah. Got faith in. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I, th I think Salah's a no, I think. I think, yeah, I believe he's off. If if the news come out that Salah's definitely sent Liverpool another season, I'd buy him. Let's, let's just put it that way. So we've got one, two, three, four, four to look at. Maybe add two to the watch list. So, um, Matthias um, Chunya from Wolves, Ollie Watkins, Ivan Tony should leave Brentford this summer. Um, I, I, Isaac as well from from Newcastle. Which two would you say make it? Um, do you have any more? If Tony moves, um, and Bruno gets pens back, he could smash. Yeah, I think my brother owns Embrimo as well. Not too bad, you know. Actually, he's not too bad, is he? In terms of scoring wise, I mean, those scores there aren't great. 24 years old. Probably going to say no, Nick, but that is not a bad shout. Um, Yotta, if Salah leaves. Yeah, what's Yotta's A scores like? I know he's been injured for a little while, but... Yeah, Yotta not a bad one as well. So 
go to night down to two, I think. I don't actually know. See, I like the turning move just because he's going to be he's, no matter where he goes to, unless he's going to be. I mean, who takes penalties? Yeah, here's one for you guys. Who takes penalties for Chelsea if if he does move? Tony, who's a penalty specialist, or Palmer, who takes penalties there? I mean, you can argue Palmer's a penalty expert as well, or specialist, but. Um, Watkins, I do like Watkins, but I think I'll go scores. You just add them all. You just add them all and just go for it. But the problem is when it, when it comes to lineups, especially in the Premier League, I don't want to have two forwards as much as I can. Um, saying that, a lot of my lineups actually have had two forwards, but I think like I feel like having two midfielders, especially in the Premier League. Is a lot better. You know, a scores we've seen a lot of smashes. Uh, a lot of a lot of people saying Palmer is so I must be completely off it there. But yeah, Palmer, 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 Palmer. So a lot of people saying Palmer. Turning to Arsenal should take be the penalty taker. And um, don't forget you still have Oshiman if he gets the transfer to the Prem. Good point, Scott. Good point. Um, Neto gets good AA. Made of glass. Yeah. That's, an issue. That's a big issue. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people saying Palmer there. Yeah, I I, I mean, I do agree, but in Tony is an expert in penalties as well. You know, he's, it's one of his specialities. So, instead of buying two, buy all four and you have depth. I mean, I wish I didn't actually see he wrote that. And I, could, I could just guess that would be you, Sammy, wrote that. Oh, you understand? Get them all. Yeah, Gnacho's okay. Yeah, Gnacho's again. Gnacho's one of the great four. I think him and Pedro, for example. I'm glad I got them too. Tony's not going to Arsenal. Yeah. So where does where does Tony go to then, guys? Where do you think Tony goes to? I think Chelsea. West is West Ham to the a low move for him. Um, SR, is that so rare? Underscore DKS. Um, thank you for the follow, buddy. Goes to Chelsea, West Ham. Chelsea, United, West Ham. West Ham, too loan. Not really a step up. I just feel like with Tony on penalties, he's always capable of getting that goal. Watkins is not on penalties. I know... I know he scores almost every game, as you can see right there. But I think Tony versus Watkins. Guys, would you say Tony's a better shout there? I mean, again, I know Watkins basically scores every other game or every game he looks like. But just that penalty, you no know, side of things. And Tony can get decent... A scores. I think Watkins can do well as well, but I'm leaning Tony over Watkins. Is that a bad thing? I think Hoyland's shite. I think Nianta will give him another seed. I don't think they'll drop Hoyland. I think they spent too much money on him, but We'll see. I think so. I think Tony makes a court. I'm going to make a decision to say Tony makes a court. And Watkins doesn't. I, I do think Watkins is a great player. But. Yep, yeah, sorry, Watkins. And it comes down to Yotta. Um, Punya. And um, Isaac as well. Or Isaac. As, um. um Pick one, guys. Pick one. I think I've got a good idea who you'll probably go for. Twenty-seven, twenty-four, twenty-four. So age on. I mean, who is getting? How much? Ninety-one pounds. Isaac about one hundred twenty-two pounds. Yotta. Hundred pounds. Yeah, go Tony as well. To be fair, on the same. 
Yeah, I think if Watkins to yeah yeah that is spot on there. So if Watkins was a penalty taker, I think I'd go for him any day. I mean, it, it, it's basically basically a fifty fifty there, but I think with the move for Tony as well, he could become a really really happy for moving forward. Obviously, he's, you know, he's good at the moment, but doing the better team. Um, Yotta says Nick. Yeah. Right, I'm making. I'm going. I'm, I'm going to leave J Yotta off just because. Yeah, I'm going to leave Yotta off. Um, I'm going to add these other two to the watch list. I think. Then what I'll do, guys, for maybe next stream, is um. Have a bit of a sort of these watch lists, by the way. Have a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a sort out, see what's what in here. And then do individual ones. One for Premier League, one under 23, one Bundesliga. Have a really good sort out, one for La Liga. Um, I did plan to go through under 23, Premier League, La Liga and Bundesliga today on this stream. But and here we are. I mean, again, it's your fault, guys. It's your fault. No, but I do, I do appreciate everyone popping in. Um. One thing I actually want to mention as well, um, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. You would have done if you seen my video yesterday from Sarah Sevens. Um, we made our teammates the final. Um, how cool is this, by the way? How cool is this? So I was played for Team Messi. And for those that don't know, Sarah Sevens is like a charity event for Sarah managers. This was held in Falkirk. So it's a tournament of like, six teams. And um, as you can see, I, I was playing for Team Mbappe, Team Messi, sorry. We got to the final, that's Team Mbappe, really good side. Um, Ruffy, um, by the way, what a player he is. They were long ball, see, by the way, but no, really good, really good lads. Um, and by the way, that, that should be an injury icon. I, I, I come off injured. I mean, he's, he's got one, won't I? Um, yeah, this is my score for um, Sarah 7. So just a 2.1 AA in 10 minutes, so no general. I think I I want to tackle. I I'm pretty sure I got a tackle, but it might be as a as a con as a dual one perhaps. Anyway, Ops have done me over there, aka Andrew Laird. And um, possession lost, 0.5. A few passes here and there, and um, yeah, w one one contest in there. So end of the day, it's a positive AA score. Um, this is my brother JP10. Um, I think he was the highest goal, goal scorer in the whole tournament. Um, he's an ex academy player, so he's going to be one of the better players there, of course. But um, his score in terms of AA was very nice. Um, a little bit jealous, actually. And um, there's actually a video. Oh, I don't know if anyone's seen the video yet. I need to try and find this video. Give me notifications. Replies, actually. Where is this video? Where is this video? So this is um, Sarah Stephen here on my team missing a chance. And this is me in the background here. <laughs> my reaction says it all. That, that went down as a big chance missed. Um, yeah, on this stream, I will be looking just at Premier League players. Yeah, 17 goals and 21 starts as well. But where, where does he go? Where does um, that go? Maybe PSG? Pape has gone? I don't know. Yeah, good point there, Neil. Good. Yeah, two AA. I won't be buying you. Are you sure, Sam? Are you sure? Look at your brother's AA. How could you sell him the other week? Yeah, I thought that, that was quite funny. But yeah, that how, how cool was that? Um, obviously, there's another Sarah Sevens event happening in Derby at the end of July. I should be there. Hopefully, the the, the final is scored again. Yeah, positive AA score. Um, no big chance miss, which I was kind of um, doing about. How long were the games at seven? 20 minutes. Um, 20 minutes. It, it doesn't like it. I thought when, when they first announced this, everyone would get like 80s and 90s, but it just we hope played out. And the game was the final. I mean, I want to see the footage back actually, but the final wasn't great, in my opinion. It was the ball was out to play quite a lot. 
Um, Team Mbappe um, had, had a lot of like, I think someone had, I think it was Wayne who had a long throw. But it was a bit, a, bit, a bit of a scrappy game, to be honest. So it wasn't the best in terms of scoring wise, but yeah, I, I don't know what I expected. But yeah, this this is amazing. I, I, I love how they've done this. So massive shout out to the guys at Serare Sevens and Serare Data for this. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just, that, that, was, that was quite good. Positive AA, that, that, that's, all, that's all I was aiming for. That's all that's what I got. But I did come off injured. My knee, my knee gave up in the semi final, to be fair. So I had to come, I had to come off in the semi final. We were winning you know, by, by, by distance, but I couldn't continue. I wish I could. I'd love to get decisive. But anyway, that's enough of that. That is enough of that. <sighs> Let's go for the 220 cap. <laughs> Yeah, Donna Surveyor, long time I haven't seen your name in the chat. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Hope you are um, keeping well. Um, yeah, guys, been going for about an hour and a half now. Um, that is going to be... To be fair, Sal has got injured in the warm-up. I think he found, I think he found a ball on, it on, his, on his rib. Um, but Sal is what a, what a grip... Basically, everyone at the event was was great. It was the weirdest thing about the whole event. It was it was so strange on the Saturday night. So we got there on the Saturday day, day, and the weirdest thing about the whole event on the Saturday night we went out in Falkirk, and there was fifteen lads around the table, um, all on Sarah data, and someone shouts, "Cabal assist," and they thought. What am I doing? It's like it, it was just it was just like crazy. Like I think Cabal got an assist that we came and went. It must have been one of these um and it was just it was just it was just so it was just so strange. But if if you're sitting at home and thinking, Am I the only am I the only person that checks my phone every five minutes on Sarah Data? That's what I was, but honestly guys, you aren't the only ones. Everyone does it. I come to realise that um at Sarah Sevens. Not, not a lot, not a lot. Not with that AA score. Can you sound the unique one? <laughs> and yeah, I, I can do. That was like the London meetup a couple of years ago. Yeah, that, that was what um, John Nels, um ran, didn't he? Yeah, yeah it, 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 was, it was strange, but yeah, it was great meeting everyone there. Yeah, no worries, Ian. I think I'm going to go off now anyway. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. As always, if you watch on YouTube, make sure to hit that 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 um that like button and sub button while you're here. Thank you all for popping in. These streams are crazy. This one was absolutely crazy as well in terms of the chat. Unbelievable. Um, I do plan to do more streams over the summer, more scouting streams like we have done tonight. You know, how much lout builders, more scouting, more budget players as well. As always, guys, thank you all for dropping in. It is much appreciated. And um, the chat has been absolutely amazing tonight, which I you know, mentioned is, is appreciated. Thank you all for the support, as always. Yeah, cheers, guys. Thanks, Sam, popping in and, and um, Neil. Much appreciated. Have a good evening, guys. Hopefully, Arsenal win. There you go, guys. Nice little um, thing to end it on there. Hope Arsenal win. Um, hope, hope City win as well, to be fair. Um, yeah, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next stream.